Ben, obviously, with the start of uh, MBAA uh, 2010, officially a few hours away, uh, the announcements that are being made to, today uh, prior to the event are, well, the big stuff. They, they tend to stack this all the way up in the beginning, but uh, the G5000, that was, uh, that's kind of a big deal here. Tell us why uh, the G5000 is being positioned now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're actually, you mentioned we introduced the G5000 integrated flight deck uh, today at MBAA 2010. The goal at Garmin is to bring the Garmin experience to the uh, Part 25 crew flown uh, aircraft. So we're at a point in uh, the development where we thought it was the right time. There's also more exciting announcements today, which you'll uh, see later. Uh, but we thought uh, now was the right time to, uh, to let folks know the technology we're working on. Now, with the 1000 being well distributed and well known throughout the fleet from uh, the fairly small GA on up through... Uh, fairly good sized turbine equipment under the circumstances and of course with the G3000 currently in development and I guess deployed for late 2011. How has this Genesis been planned? Where does it go? And more important, how does 5000 fit into the master plan? Yeah, the Genesis has been planned for actually since the very beginning. I mean, you go all the way back to the, uh, the Genesis of Garmin when we started in 1989, the two founders, uh, their vision was to get to uh, Part 25 business jets. And so we're, we've merely taken a lot of steps along the way. As you, you saw we might, uh, when we went through our presentation this morning that the first aircraft to announce a G1000 integrated flight deck uh, was a turbine aircraft, the Mustang. And we're on a handful of uh, turbine aircraft so far. We've got over 8,000 G1000 uh, units in the field. And as we've been doing our, our research and development, we decided we want to improve on that. We've got all kinds of uh, experience with the 1000, a lot of feedback from our customers, from aircraft manufacturers. And what the G3 thousand and G5 for the thousand equipment do is address uh, a lot of those uh, concerns that they had in ways we can make it better uh, an easier to use user interface uh, for the uh, the pilots and also as you see what we talked about with regards to our vehicle management units those touchscreen interfaces to the aircraft systems not only is that a, a good thing for uh, pilots because they've got the opportunity to use these shallow menu structures uh, with the touchscreen interface but we've also given aircraft manufacturers flexibility going forward now instead of having to create uh, room in a panel for for some, let's say there's a mandate three years down the road, four years down the road, they don't necessarily have to find a new spot and redesign a panel, which are very costly to manufacturers. They can remote mount their equipment, and then we can control that by creating a new software interface in the touchscreen units that are already there. Now, G5000 is heading for one of the most hotly contested parts of the market. It's a tough, tough area. You're up again. Not only some major, major players, but some folks that have been nested there for quite some time. What does G5000 offer in regards to the competition? And let's face it, how are you going to get people off of what they've been doing for forever and ever and a day? Yeah, that's a great question. The whole idea with G5000 is our purpose is to bring the Garmin experience to this class of aircraft. So we want to bring them. Uh, we want to bring them synthetic vision. We want to bring them 3D traffic. We want to bring them the Garmin user experience of interacting with the system. We also think, it, as you kind of know, we've got a lot of of uh, experience in bringing things to the aircraft after we've already certified. You know, we certified uh, the uh, G1000 in 2004, and several years later, I think it was almost four years later, we brought synthetic vision to the market, and that new innovation that Garmin had was able to go all the way back to those first G1000s that were introduced. So the key to the G5000 system is that it's flexible. So we're building it with an architecture that not only competes very well in today's marketplaces with the competitors that we have, it also is positioning itself to adapt to the future to provide a good user experience for the pilots and a great uh, experience for the aircraft manufacturers down the road. Now this system is going to be first deployed on Cessna for the moment um, and, and obviously that's going to get a lot of attention because Cessna has had some pretty strong relationships uh, in that line for quite a while. Where do you see your strongest uh, attributes in regards to going up against once again the, the entrenched competition but especially with OEMs who've had such a strong rep for let's not rock the boat. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you made an initial comment about Cessna. We're, th we're thrilled and honored uh, that S Cessna is announcing that they've selected the G5000 for one of their aircraft today. It's a very, very, they have very long, we've had a wonderful relationship with Cessna uh, dating back quite a long while. Garmin's uh, thrilled to bring the G5000 uh, flight deck to this class of aircraft and what we think we bring to the table uh, and the reason that some aircraft manufacturers have selected us is because of our, uh, our track record and our reputation. Uh, we do, you know, our product support has been recognized uh, for the last seven years uh, in AIN and 
and uh, six years in professional pilot as being an outstanding product support. That's imperative to any market and it's unbelievably important to the Part 25 um, world. So we believe that our strong product support helps us. We also think that uh, the, the experience they've had interacting with us on our G1000 and our interactions that some folks have had with our G3000 uh, flight decks with us as a company, uh, we think we bring a lot to the table. Uh, and everyone at Garmin, uh, you know, we've got their head down and everybody's hustling very hard all day uh, working to ensure that we have success in this market. And uh, we're looking forward to it. And finally, what's the, uh, what's the development cycle going to look like from here? We're sitting in October of 2010. Where does it go from here? When are we going to see it? Yeah, what we're sharing at this point in time is it will be available in 2012. You know, the G3000 system will be up and available and certified at the end of 2011. Uh, I'd like to share more, but all we'll share at this point is uh, 2012. Thank you very much. Yeah. Aero TV is brought to you by... Now, another moment of freedom from Sirius Aircraft. Freedom through safety. Perhaps the ultimate freedom is confidence, assurance, and peace of mind. We design it into every personal aircraft we build. It's the security that comes with knowing you're flying the plane with a parachute. The breakthrough concept that launched the Cirrus phenomenon.